Authority. Here's Chief Meteorologist Noah Reem, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Good evening and happy Monday. Concho Valley was a heater in the morning kind of deal and then yeah, maybe even an air conditioner in the afternoon for an hour or two. Temperatures got to 84 degrees. That is roughly 20 degrees above that average high of 65 degrees for this time of year. A lot of sunshine for the first half of our day and we saw all those clouds rolling in from the west. Cloud cover still hanging on for most of us at this hour. It's a result of a surface trough towards our west. And we're also keeping our eye on this developing frontal system. This is going to be the actual front we see eventually moving its way towards the state of Texas in a con to a valley by sometime late tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning. In terms of our local satellite and radar, looking at that widespread cloud cover still holding on at this hour. The rain that we are looking at is in Crockett County, just south of Ozona. I think the light rain will still continue primarily for some of our southern counties. All the way past midnight's night, we'll eventually see some of that dry air coming in, but a quick return of that moisture as all of this moisture comes in from the Gulf Coast. This increase in moisture will allow some Scattered to widespread rain chances moving forward, at least for the middle part of a work week. I can't rule out the potential for those stray showers to continue along the I-10 corridor for tonight. Early tomorrow morning, cloud cover does return. There could be potential for some areas to see a little bit more sunshine than others. That's just something to keep in mind. That'll also impact on how warm we actually get in some spots. Heading into late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. And this is when we start to notice that cold front coming through. Showers will become more widespread and maybe even numerous in some spots. Isolated thunderstorms still can't be ruled out at that hour as well. And then heading into Friday morning, there could be a potential for a few lingering showers, which will be more hit and miss in nature. So let's time this out in terms of those rain chances. Tuesday, we're going to stay rather dry. Can't rule out the potential for maybe a light sprinkle in some of our southern counties. A 30% shot at those scattered two numerous showers and a few thunderstorms all the way through Thursday morning, picking right back up just for your Friday. Once again, Friday is going to be more hit and miss, and then we begin to dry right back out as we head into your weekend. So as we time out this upper level weather pattern for you, upper level ridge of high pressure, it does move gradually out towards the east for tomorrow, but we're still remaining on the western periphery of that. That means our temperatures right around 80 degrees once again. This next upper level low, that will continue to push out towards the northeast, and a quick upper level ridge of high pressure does build back in across the area once again. We remain on the western side of that. Temperatures quickly rebound back into the upper 70s, lower 80s, and then that'll also cause travel delays with our next upper level system. So our first upper level system, as we head into your Tuesday afternoon, this will provide maybe the opportunity for a few minor delays for Mathisfield and DFW and areas out towards our south. This will continue to travel quickly towards the northeast as it begins to intensify. That will allow the potential for major delays out towards the Midwest. We're talking areas around Detroit and Chicago as we continue to progress with our next upper level system coming in from the west. This will also bring the potential by Saturday afternoon for, hey, maybe even moderate delays here, even across Mathisfield, DFW, and for much of the state of Texas. That's just something to keep in mind. For more updates on those travel delays, visit our Concho Valley homepage.com for those updates. We will continue to keep you updated as quickly and as soon as possible. Temperatures are a little bit slower to cool tonight, 66 degrees in Brady, 68. Menard, 72 out towards Junction, 65 now in El Dorado, coming in at 70 degrees at this hour for Merson. In terms of what to expect tomorrow, we do have an elevated fire risk in place. High temperatures around 80 degrees. We're talking those winds out of the west-southwest gusting up to 30, if not 40 miles per hour in some spots. Low relative humidity. 20 to 25 percent, meaning fires that do start could spread rapidly. That's something to keep in mind, folks. Temperatures at around 80 tomorrow. We are saved by our next cold front. This will be a very strong cold front, taking us about 30 degrees cooler by Wednesday afternoon. A gradual rebound of those temperatures by Thursday, but we're talking that upper level high will allow our temperatures right around 80 degrees by Friday before we start to see our temperatures in check with our next cold front heading into the weekend. So for tonight, mostly cloudy and breezy stray showers, primarily in our southern counties. Temperatures falling to 58 degrees by your Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, partly sunny and windy, unseasonably warm. We're talking highs around 80 degrees once again. Those wind gusts approaching 35 to 40 miles per hour. Here's a look at that seven day forecast moving forward. Our next cold front arrives tomorrow night, taking us from about 80 to 52 degrees. We'll see eventually those rain chances back into the forecast. 30% shot scattered to widespread Wednesday and Thursday morning. We'll see a lull in the action on Thursday night for your Thanksgiving. And then once again on Friday, those rain chances are back into the forecast with highs around 80 degrees. And then our next cold front will knock us from about 68 to 60 by Sunday.